Welcome back. The story we're going to read today is Squeak. Today is a little bit different, so not all of our things match our theme, but that's okay. Our story is Squeak. It is about this little squirrel. Let's find out what happens. Early one morning, a breeze ripped through the meadows and mountains and tickled the ear of one small mouse. His eyes popped open. Squeak! The tiny squeak floated upwards to the chipmunk's hollow. Out skittered the chipmunks, chitting and chattering. Branches shook and pine cones fell, kerplop, into the river. Trout were resting right there in the river, dreaming their watery dreams. They leapt awake with a splish and a splash and a splish, splish, splash. All the splishing and the splashing woke an elk on the river bank. He lurched up and bumped smack into the cottonwood tree. Kabonk! Then whoosh! An eagle launched from the top of the cottonwood tree, beating her wings against the pale morning sky. Wa whoosh! Wa whoosh! The rush of the eagle wings woke two bear cubs. Out they tumbled from their cave, their mama hot on their heels. She tried to quiet them down. Brrr, she grumped. Brrr. But already a pup over in the wolf den had heard the bear shenanigans and started to howl. Yip, 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 yip. The pack woke up and joined in. Ow! 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 Their howls echoed across the cliffs and woke a bighorn lamb when she leapt to another perch. Rocks and gravel thundered to the meadow below. Ba ba! Rumble bumble! Rumble bumble! Boom! The biggest bison snoozing down in the meadow startled out of his dreams. He did not like to wake up before the sun. Arrumph! He bellowed and louder. Arrumph! Arrumph! The bison's bellows billowed over the mountains and meadows and woke up everyone else. Badgers popped out of their sets. Otters and beavers splashed into the river. Raccoons rustled. Snakes hissed. Ka ka Rustle, rustle. Slickery, slickery. Swish, swish. Ribbit, ribbit. Frogs croaked. Bees buzzed. Foxes and jack rabbits swished through the slickery grass while swans and loons and warbles and ravens called and twittered and cooed. The small mouse heard the big ruckus and wondered, Why is everyone up so early? Squeak, he whispered to himself. Then he snuggled in and drifted back to sleep.
this. That was great listening to the story all about our animals and some of the animal sounds. Next, we're going to read another story about being thankful for Thanksgiving.